The Theory Xenosaurus, an absolute killing machine, a super territorial animal, and will attack anything on site, apart from one animal, the Tyrannosaurus Rex. And why is that? We all know the Theory Xenosaurus from Jurassic World Dominion as this absolute killing machine, and that is to be true. It attacks anything on site with no prejudice. Animals, people, deers, everything in between it will attack, as we see here. In Jurassic World Dominion, it is definitely protected trait as a super aggressive territorial animal. So why is it then that it doesn't attack the T-Rex on site when it comes into contact with it? Because we all know the theory Xenosaurus attacks everything, it attacked the Giga, it defended itself against the Giga and eventually was the cause of the death of the Giga Nautosaurus, but then decided not to attack the T-Rex. We do know that the theory Xenosaurus DNA was actually used in the Indominus Rex creation and the remnants of this creation is actually actually heard in the Theory Xenosaurus roar. You can actually hear that Indominus Rex coming out in the Theory Xenosaurus roar. But that just goes to show how aggressive this Theory Xenosaurus is for them to use it in the Indominus Rex genome. The more and more we start to learn about the Theory Xenosaurus, the more and more we realize it, not attacking a T-Rex becomes more and more stranger. I mean, this is how aggressive it is. It even attacks a harmless deer just being in its territory. It attacks it and clearly kills it just for being there and eating one of its bushes. The Theory Xenosaurus in Jurassic World Dominion is also hinted at at being part partially blind slash unable to see and this is due to the murky appearance and the cataracts in its eyes. It said it finds its way around the forest via echo communication. I don't know how much of this is true because to coordinate its swipes especially on that deer it would have to have some level of sight especially to hit the attacks it lands. So in my opinion it has to be partially sighted not completely blind. The aggressiveness of the Therizinosaurus is unmatched in Dominion. It even tries to stalk and kill Clay, where Clay has to actually escape from crawling through the undergrowth and staying under the water until the dinosaur decides to leave. Although the theory isn't a carnivore, it actually acts like a predator in a sense, fiercely defending his territory and killing anything in his path, which makes the confrontation with Rexy all the more strange. It measured at least 10 meters long, which is 32 feet, standing five meters tall and weighing just under 5,000 kilograms, which is 5.4 tons. That is an absolute beast and I would not want to mess with that, especially with them claws, which would be able to pierce and kill anything it comes into contact with. When the theory Xenosaurus gets evacuated to the inn the sanctuary in Bioseng Sanctuary, that's where all the dinosaurs are herded together and that is where in my opinion I'd expect the Theory Xenosaurus to be hugely aggressive to any animal coming into his space. Now we don't really see that which is extremely strange. It might have something to do with the controlling chips in his brain but then that goes against what the Giga Nautosaurus does. Where the Giga decides to attack the Theory Xenosaurus, then the Theory obviously fights back, we see that battle erupt. Rexy gets in the mix as well and then all of a sudden they team up against the Giganotosaurus and they obviously slay the Giganotosaurus as we all know and at the end of that fight scene the T-Rex and the Theory Xenosaurus seem to be ha living happily ever after. Now what is the actual reason for this happening? Because we all know that in the wild that Theory Xenosaurus would attack and potentially kill that Tyrannosaurus Rex purely for being in his territory and for the Theory Xenosaurus being super aggressive. For what's the reason it doesn't attack then? Now they obviously largely just attacked a bigger and more ferocious predator which could play a part. They both were injured during the fight where the Theory Xenosaurus lost some claws. The Tyrannosaurus Rex, Rexy was actually injured and knocked unconscious. So just like in Jurassic World, which is a bit of a cliche, she may not want that confrontation and decides to leave. And the same potentially could be said for the Theory Xenosaurus. They just had this epic battle and might not want that confrontation and decide to leave and recuperate and retreat. Stuff like this does actually happen in the wild, although it is quite unlikely. The downfall of the Giganotosaurus was that it was unable to determine quickly enough which enemy was the greater threat, which allowed Rexy to ram the Giganotosaurus into the Theory Xenosaurus claws. 
Now what has actually happened to that theory Xenosaurus after this huge fight scene is unknown. A lot of people are saying it's actually gone back out into the wild, into the abandoned Bioseng Sanctuary, which has now become an international preserve, believe it or not, where I again presume that theory Xenosaurus will be out there defending his territory to the best of his ability and holding no prisoners. So if that Tyrannosaurus Rex Rexy comes into contact with the theory Xenosaurus again, I don't think there will be any prisoners as such, we also know that there'll be more Tyrannosaurus Rex for the Theory Xenosaurus to encounter. So I look forward to seeing the Theory Xenosaurus in future and how it connects to the Jurassic World universe. I'd like to thank my Patreons and YouTube members as always. Don't forget to like, go and watch another video and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers now. Bye bye.